This is a B-25J, built in 1944, medium bombers. There were just shy of 10,000 of these things built. First developed in the late 1930s, answering a call from the Army Air Corps, and it went right into service from the drawings. Everybody in the know knew we were going to be part of World War II, you know, which had broke out many years before, actually in the early 30s, when Japan invaded China, and then, of course, really broke out 1939, when the uh, Germans invaded Poland, which brought the British into the war. They needed a B-25 to be that role between strategic four-engine bombers, but really developed into his legend as a close air support ground attack airplane by the 5th Air Force and the Air Forces in the Pacific. When it was turned from a meteor bomber into a low altitude close air ground support, made famous by the little Tokyo raid. When we updated the instrument panel, I wanted to keep a lot of the original instruments and there's a lot of redundancy between some of the modern instruments. You can be pilot and command on a B-25 from either seat because you can reach all the controls from either seat. The bombs in the bomb bay are covered in World War II combat veteran signatures. These are all World War II B-25 combat crew. It handles like a Greyhound bus with wings on it. It is humiliating to most people trying to figure out how to taxi it. You have to use other means to keep it going straight. You have to use differential power over the rudders. If you want to turn right, full right rudder, add power to the left engine, pull yourself through the turn. These are right. 1,700 horsepower each engine, 3,400 horsepower at only 2,600 RPM. So therefore, 1,700 horsepower, 2,600 cubic inches, you're making over 100 horsepower per cylinder. These airplanes and the, the original Panchito served with a 396 bomb squadron, 41st Bomb Group in Okinawa during the summer 1945. We have tried to keep alive that history.